Hi. In this video we are going to learn how to set up a robotic workflow. Let us first review what a robotic workflow is. A robotic workflow is a workflow that is run on a robot instead of on an agent's machine. A robotic workflow can be invoked or started from an attended automation solution running on an agent's machine or externally, for example, using an API. We will focus on the first case. In other words, instead of the attended solution performing all tasks on the agent's machine, some workflows can be outsourced to robots. Robotic workflows can receive values of input parameters from the attended solution. However, a robotic workflow cannot return an output value back to the attended solution. Robotic workflows are uploaded to a real-time server. When the robotic workflow is invoked, the real-time server instructs a robot to execute the workflow. The administrator must specify, in advance, which groups of robots can be used to execute each robotic workflow. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a robotic workflow and publish its project to a real-time server. We will also learn how to assign a robotic workflow to a group of robots. We will build a very simple robotic workflow to illustrate the process. This robotic workflow is intended to keep a list of the details of all new customer accounts created by call center agents. The list will be kept in a simple text file on the robot machine itself. The first step is to specify that our new workflow is a robotic workflow. We have already created a new project called store account and have created a blank workflow called write to text file. This will be our robotic workflow. Click workflow settings and open the properties tab. Check the option to make the workflow available for execution by robots. This tells the real-time server that this is a robotic workflow. We can optionally choose the second option if we want the robot to try or run the workflow again if some failure occurs. The next step is to specify the workflow's input parameters. Open the Parameters tab. This workflow requires three input parameters, the customer's first name, last name, and ID number. Click Add Parameter and add all three parameters. Click Save. We can now build the workflow. The first step creates a text string called customer text that includes all the information to be recorded. We have used the concatenate function from the text built-in service to populate the customer text variable. The first text element to concatenate is the first name. We will select the first name parameter of our workflow. The second text element is populated with the last name parameter. To populate the last item of the list with the ID, we have to first use the convert number to text function from the conversion built-in service. The second step uses the write to file method from the file built-in service to append the customer text string to the text file. Our robotic workflow is now complete. Where possible, it is a good idea to build a temporary workflow in the same project so that we can test our robotic workflow locally before uploading it to the real-time server. This test workflow uses the robotic workflow's start method to simulate the creation of a single customer. When we run this workflow, we see that the information we provided is written to a text file, as expected.
we can either delete this workflow or leave it in the project for debugging purposes. We are now ready to publish the robotic workflow to the real-time server. If Automation Studio is not connected to a real-time server, click to connect and enter the required details. From the Server Actions menu, select Publish Project. We are prompted to save the project first. We must assign our project a version number. Every time you republish the project you must increase its version number. Click Publish. The administrator can now log into the automation portal to assign the robotic workflow to a group of robotic clients. Log into the automation portal. Enter the admin area and choose Solution Assignment. Choose the group you want to assign the robotic workflow to. When the robotic workflow is invoked, one machine in this group will be assigned to execute it. Click Assign. All projects that have been uploaded to the real-time server are listed with their versions. Select which version of your project to assign to the group. Click Save. Our project is now published and its workflow is ready to be invoked. In the next video, we will build a simple attended solution that will invoke our robotic workflow. Thank you for watching.